did you achieve what you set out to with Destination Dewsbury? Yeah, we made a movie. Well, I just wanted to make a movie. Uh, left university, wanted to go make a movie. Found these uh, four rather good gentlemen in a outside a pub in Victoria. Uh, and um, and yeah, the rest was history. I wanted to make a film, and we ma- ended up making a really good film that I'm very proud of. Mm. Um, and it became, I don't know, a big slice of you, you know? Like, kind of sort of becomes part of your personality after it, like, so you talk about for a while. Yeah, uh, you love it, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it was, the aim was just to make a feature film, uh, and then, yeah, we certainly ended up with something that was kind of, like, very powerful, very funny. Yeah, very mm. proud. Yeah. Talk me through the process of building that chemistry between the characters, because what's come across from speaking to the actors is that's clearly something that you're very passionate about, very deliberate in terms of your methods of going about it. So... Yeah. Talk to us about that briefly, just about how you, how you approach that. Yeah, so I've always thought if you can cast uh, an actor who, who is a human being as close to the character on the script as possible, the less acting they're doing. Uh, and I define kind of how close they are as people by their spine. So everyone has a spine. Like, you know, their spine is basically the reason you wake up in the morning, might be to earn as much money, to impress your dad, to win an Oscar. Everyone's got one, we just don't really speak about it. Um, so once I, I got all my tapes in and you know, went through kind of hundreds for each role, um, found four or five tapes for each character that were A, you know, I felt felt real, and B, I was still amused you know, by the end of their tape, um, and that was kind of my first criteria. And then I met all of them in a pub, the Weatherspoons in Victoria, it's cheap in there, on a Tuesday. Um, and yeah, got to know them as people, kind of like we you know, delved very deep quite quickly, I guess, um, you know, talked about childhood, and kind of find out what motivated them, and just talked about them, you know, very kind of organically, and it's not, you know, it's not like a 20 questions, tick, 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 you know, you just kind of let it flow, and, you know, out of the four or five for each role that I met, these were the guys that I thought, you know, A, were, you know, their, their spines matched close enough with the character, uh, and B, the hierarchy of the group would work, you know, so we went on this camping trip, um, and I knew I'd got it right, because, David, uh, who plays Adam, his um, kind of spine, if, if you like, is to escape. And I asked the group, right, what do you want to do? And before I finished that sentence, he was already walking to the pub. Um, you know, Dan, who plays Gaz, his spine is um, to care for those around him. And the next morning, by the time we woke up, he'd cooked a fried breakfast, made us all coffee. I was like, tick. Um, Matt, uh, who plays Peter, his spine is to be respected. Uh, and I, someone, uh, urinated on Matt's car and he got very cross. Um, <laughs> And I was like, uh, Smithy as well, who's kind of the, um, you know, the, the quietest one in the group, I guess. Um, you know, um, Tom uh, took quite a lot of time to kind of sort of embed in that, you know, to, to grow in kind of confidence in that in that trip. And then by the end of it, you know, he was, and that's exactly what happened in the script. Mm. Um, so yeah, I knew after that weekend I'd got it right, and you know, we'd have no problems. What's the biggest thing you learned during the process of making your first feature? Food and accommodation are key to team morale. <laughs> Pot noodles, Mars bars, and sleeping on airbase does not help the situation. <laughs> I did, however, uh, treat myself to the director's suite, which was a very good decision. By that, I'm in an airbed in my own room. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I think I, I went into it very much with the fact that you know, the idea that this is just a long short, which is um, two weeks rehearsals, best idea ever. You know, in the next films that we're doing, that's kind of one of my only demand that and baby bells on set um, to give yourself more time you know, we shot this whole thing in what transpired to be about three and a half weeks um, we went from a four week shoot to a three week shoot about two weeks before we shot because we realised halfway through week four we were going to run out of money um, so yes have more money more time uh, rehearsals are good food is good pot noodles for three weeks bad yeah um, yeah lots lots but they were the key kind of Mm. Yeah. a key takeaways yeah. which is, is just what you've got to do yeah. I like the fact you had a list though when asked for one thing that proves that you're obviously meticulously putting all of those kind of details away for future yeah. future features what made Dewsbury the destination? good question good question um, we went so I, I, I knew about Dewsbury a big rugby league fan mm-hmm. uh, Dewsbury Rams Dewsbury Rams? About Dewsbury Rams and Batley Bulls uh, playing the second tier I like Hierarchy. Wake, Wakefield Trinity White Wakefield Cats, Trinity I think, is the best sports yeah. team name in the United Cats, Kingdom. Cats, Tigers, around the corner, Leeds, around those best footballs. So rugby, rugby league drew me to Yorkshire, I guess. Uh, I went to university for a year in York. 
Um, and we wanted a town where we could kind of make a difference for something, you know. And, and Dewsbury wasn't being mentioned. It didn't have any like national news headlines, and we went around, you know, kind of towns in Yorkshire. And Dewsbury felt like the right one aesthetically for what, what we wanted. Uh, we then spoke to Kirkley's Council, who were by far um, the most helpful council out of all the ones that we spoke to about filming there. You know, so it's, you know, we said to them, right, we need to cut off streets, we need to shoot on high streets, we need offices, schools, and they were like, yeah, helpful. yeah so helpful and brilliant. Um, and then even, you know, even like the amount of local support that we had, you know, if you try and shoot the film that we did in London, it'd cost twice as much, take twice as long because, you know, people aren't as helpful. And I knew, you know, from spending time in, in like the North a lot of time as a kid, um, that people up North were nicer. And this was particularly, particularly the case um, in, you know, a small town in West Yorkshire. And we kind of, you know, three or four kind of trips into going to Jewsby and looking at locations, we kind of figured that this would be a very good place to make a film. Uh, and it would kind of do a lot of good to the area in you know, putting Dewsbury on the nationwide map. Any happy that you've been, well, obviously the nationwide map's yet to be seen, but are you happy that you made a difference there? I think so, yeah. I mean, even like, you know, we had a lot of local kids on set, and, you know, kids in London get these sort of opportunities all the time. Um, kids in West Yorkshire don't, you know, there's not an awful lot of filming going on there. So, you know, to see these kids come on set and be as extras um, and just you know, ask, they were asking so many questions and they found it so fascinating and, you know, and I, I know that some of the kids have gone on to make short films and you know, they want to be actors and actresses just off this so you know, even, even before it's out you know, I feel that we've made somewhat of a kind of a social difference up there That's good it's for philanthropy in all yeah. senses of the word um, We'll squeeze in another couple just quickly How big an accomplishment does it feel to have completed your first full feature finally? Yeah, it's crazy and I, I don't think it's you know just me either I think I look at what everyone has achieved um, you know the producer the fact that we came under our shooting budget by 35 quid it's nuts you know the fact that we shot I think we had 92 different scenes to shoot in three weeks and a lot of them you know with it being a road trip movie we were in different locations uh, and there's lots of moving about and lots of you know skimping and you know a lot of people were working for you know, minimal minimal money you know we had a lot of runners and, and extras that work for free um, you know the, the guys in the you know two weeks rehearsal period how kind of seriously and dedicated they were uh, and just yeah, like just the performances that we put in, you know, it, it was nuts, you know. And it took me, it took me a long time to work out what an achievement it was. So I guess you know, you go away after, th- you know, I guess like a six, seven week period of kind of you know, directing, and you know, so people are always relying on you to then you know, nothingness, you know, sitting in a room with an editor for like six months. It, you know, it was kind of, you know, it's strange. And then after, when you come out of that and you actually see the finished film, and you. you have like premieres in Hollywood and stuff and you have like 30, you know, 20, 30 people fly out for it, you know, then it kind of starts to feel real. And I think it'll feel, it'll feel more real once it's out and people are talking about it, you know, because it's been our kind of little secret, I guess, for two and a half years, which mm-hmm. is a long time. So yeah, I, yeah, immensely proud of what we did, certainly, and I, I yeah, love a lot. We made a really good film and made a difference. Super. I've asked everyone else this same question to finish with, so I'm with the exception of you, Tom, actually, because I've flung an extra one in. But, um, and I think you could maybe do it directly to the camera if you think that would work better. <laughs> uh, in a sentence, tell us why people should go and watch Destination Dewsbury. Because it's great. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. Very, very funny. Very, very good performances. It'll make you laugh, it'll make you cry. Perfect Saturday night out. If I saw that trailer in a film, trailer in a film, trailer in a cinema for that film, I'd go watch it. That's the reason we made it. You know, I wanted to make a film that I'd want to go watch. And I'd go watch this one. Three times. <laughs> <laughs> and by the DVD. <laughs>